folks, Captain Matt again. So here we are, we had the frame a uh, short few minutes ago, and uh, now we've put the sides on, and uh, the sides are half sheet of plywood, full, full sheet, frame is eight foot, plywood's eight foot, and uh, then you cap it. We put this down on the bottom on two sides, piece of plywood and screwed it in real well, and then a piece of plywood over here. And that's to keep it from ever racking because again, we have, uh, we have maybe as much as two tons here depending on our moisture uh, level. So it's a lot of weight up above. So as soon as I finished the sides, the next thing we did is just put a plastic liner. I used a uh, four mil poly, uh, polyethylene. We put the plastic in, it's four mil polyethylene and uh, we line that, the sides with it for one reason, and that's to keep the uh, moisture from penetrating into the wood and rotting the wood away. And uh, that might have to be changed every two, three, four years. I don't know, I've, I've had mine going for almost two years on the first bin, and I emptied it uh, this year and did not have to change it. So, but uh, we're ready to go. So the next step after, after this is we're gonna put the, the, uh, the ribbon on, and the ribbon, uh, is the strength around the top that keeps everything from bowing. Here we're screwed into the frame. Here we're gonna put the ribbon on that will toughen it up and we're ready to start filling. Okay folks, so uh, here we are. Uh, this is the finished bin right here. Uh, painted and all, I didn't think I'd get it painted by the time we did the video, but uh, got the old paintbrush out and painted it. Last time we showed you we had put the plywood on, but we did not put the ribbon on. And the ribbon is the strength. When we put the plywood on, we have a two by four that runs along the top of the frame. And so we're screwing real tight into that two by four there. But on the top, it could get very wobbly once it's filled. So the ribbon is, is uh, there for strength and it does a few things. It also holds the plastic. I fold the plastic over and under the ribbon, helps it because there's that tension pulling down um, and, and I've learned, and this is my third bin, every time I build a bin and work with it, I learn something new. So we're all set and, and uh, we're now ready to fill it. But before we fill it, if we just poured a bucket of bedding in right now, it would go right through. This is, this is Jude, say hello Jude, say hi, hi to everybody. Hi. Jude is a future wormer, future wormers of America. That would be a great group. All right, so in here are, are the, um, the pipes, and this is the flow through area, but if we pour anything in there, it's gonna go right through. So what we'll do is we're gonna put cardboard on, and we'll cover that area with cardboard, and what that does, it gives you time uh, for you to slowly build uh, your, uh, your bedding in here. So I'm gonna pour some bedding in in a little while, but what I'll do is I will fill the the entire bed with six inches of bedding. And I'll wet it down a little on the heavy side to start with uh, before I put the worms in. But that bedding, what it does, it, start, it, it settles. You need moisture in there to get this established, especially. So every, uh, probably every two to three weeks, I'll come back and put another inch or two or three of bedding in again, and I'll, I'll, I'll water that down a bit. Now the worms are in there now. I'm at that point, after I put the first six inches in, I'm gonna load in there probably, I'm gonna put 500,000 worms in I think. That's about what we're gonna do. The worms are gonna get going. In that six inches, the worms are gonna eat everything in that bedding that, that is possibly workable. At the same time, we feed them a little bit along the way. And so we'll just build this up three to four inches at a time um, and then water it down, and after a certain amount of time, it brings me to the top. Now, they, I, I did this bed last, and it took me, I actually, it took me three months to get the bedding all the way to the top. But one of the problems is you're not going to be able to immediately uh, start raking just because you're full. You still have to give the worms plenty of time in there uh, to eat as much as they can and you want it to dry out a bit, and it will dry out. In here it will, okay? Um, I have, I keep my, uh, my worm barn at about 62 degrees, and we have air flowing all the time. So it, it dries out on the bottom, 
And after, by six months, then I'm starting to rake and starting to pull castings out. And I'll pull them out. I can use it rough in the garden if it's for me. If it's for, for sale, if I'm pulling it out for sale, then I put it on the shifter. We, we, uh, we separate the worms and the, the thicker uh, composted material that didn't get completely eaten and the worm castings, and then we bag the worm castings. Uh, and, uh, we're going to show you all the uses for that shifter. I use it out in the garden. I take it to the garden. I use it. I use it all over the place for all different reasons. But here it is. We're done, and uh, um, it wasn't. It wasn't a lot of time. I probably put maybe ten hours in this, if that. Um, and you can you can do this again. If you can't do it, you have a friend who will do it. And if you don't have a friend who will do it, you get a carpenter for ten hours, pay him, and it'll be well worth it. Uh, and you can in in this in this bin, you'll you'll I have close to a million, I'm sure, in both of those, but they stop breeding at a certain point. So I'm continuously going to my breeder bins and bringing adults over, and this is my bulk bin, although at the same time, it is a, um, a continuous flow bulk bin. Okay, so we're gonna fill it, and uh, that's why Muscle Man is up there, uh, Jude. And uh, so, just dug this from my one-ton bag of bedding that remember we mixed leaves and wood chips outside and let them out for a year, stirred them up, shook them up, and they broke down and composted, and that's the bedding we use. All free, by the way, it was just given to us. And so um, now we're gonna start to fill, and Jude is there, and Jude's just gonna start pouring, pouring the bedding in. There we go. Great. As time goes on, you're, you're, right now we're, we're putting in very loose stuff, but as you wet it down and the pressure from, uh, the, from the bedding, it will form a pad. And at that time, as the pad starts to get ready to be used, also your cardboard is starting to rot. And so you can take your rake and pull and some of the, some, you'll see pieces of cardboard coming down that the worms might not have eaten or that didn't rot, but uh, that's gonna hold it in place until you get that firm pad, and that's what you're looking for, to get the pad. So folks, we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks.